here in the Lakeside uh, County, or rather city of Kisumu, actually. The situation is not different from that in Nairobi. You can see behind me here, uh, there is a, some sort of disorderly. The situation here is not uh, normal. This is not the situation that we are used to in everyday situation here in Kisumu. I don't know if my colleague Martin Kivuti can basically zoom behind, deep behind me there. You can see that is a roundabout. That is Kisumu boys uh, roundabout. Uh, that is the intersection point between uh, Nairobi Road and of course uh, uh, the uh, the other way uh, intersection point between uh, Nairobi Road and of course the uh, Kisumu Kakamega Highway. There you can see there is a tire that has been lit there and a crowd is still surging there. Earlier on in the morning we had two visit actually to Kondele roundabout. That is usually the epicenter every time there is some sort of demonstration here in Kisumu. And what we saw was uh, just um, uh, crowds building up uh, since seven in the morning and of course when it got about uh, ten in the bo uh, ten uh, in the morning that crowd started surging from Kondele all through to the CBD here like it has been for the last one week uh, since uh, Azimio leader Raila Odinga declared uh, mass action in the country there. Uh, what has been happening is that that crowd has been surging from Kondele uh, roundabout all through uh, using that Kakamega Kisumu highway uh, to that roundabout that you can basically see uh, from which that smoke is emanating and of course that crowd has been diverted actually the, uh, the crowd has been div uh, diverted to a place uh, called Joakali that is also another point of uh, uh, gathering every time there is any sort of uh, uh, protest or other demonstrations here in the lakeside county of or other city of Kisumu. What has been happening in the last one week is that that crowd has been charging from Kondele all through to the county commissioner's office. County commissioner's office is uh, located just adjacently to the state lodge there and uh, usually by the state lodge there is a barricade by the police uh, by the security personnel there but today the barricade hasn't been has, has been moved a little bit closer to the uh, state lodge that vicinity has been uh, narrowed uh, i tried to inquire why but then the police uh, or rather the security uh, personnel there did not uh, speak to us so far there hasn't been any uh, the police haven't been deployed to the streets there even in the morning when we went to condell actually the crowds were gathering there actually they started barricading that uh, road from uh, kakamega coming to through to kisumu but the police did not show up uh, you remember condell police station they just a stone throw away from that uh, from that uh, roundabout but then up to now they have not gone to the streets uh, in what I believe that they are trying uh, actually to avert any sort of uh, uh, run-ins with the, with, the, with the crowds here. Uh, I think they are basically giving the protestants here uh, an ample time actually maybe to uh, showcase or rather uh, to air out uh, their views because uh, they may be out of fear that in case they engage them then uh, the the uh, demonstration here could uh, turn uh, chaotic. Right now, the crowd has gone to uh, that place I've said, uh, called Joakali, from Joakali. Uh, we understand they will be marching to uh, the county commissioner's office, and uh, because, uh, definitely uh, they will try to accept the state law there, but then, of course, uh, there are the police officers uh, uh, with their barricade there that uh, I believe will try to block them from accessing uh, that uh, facility being a protected area. Actually, we, uh, we also conducted a sport check in various schools uh, be, uh, within the, uh, surrounding the city center here. And uh, what we have seen is, that, remember, for the secondary schools, it is the half-term break. Uh, some were to report today, some are reporting tomorrow. But that uh, transportation issue is not going on because, of course, we also visit, uh, visited uh, the the bus station, the bus station there, there's little activity, or if there is any, there is very, it is very little. People are not moving actually, and that's the reason that the learners not, are, are not going back to school today. For the primary schools, we visited the Zaverian primary and the junior secondary. Uh, where we spoke with the deputy head teacher there. I told us about. Uh, uh, there, is, uh, there are a total of uh, about 2,000 stu uh, learners registered there, but only about 100 reported today. Uh, but although there are teachers there waiting for learners, but they did not uh, show up in what I believe is a result of uh, the fear of being attacked by those uh, demonstrating. Like I can see behind me in that, uh, that is Kisumu boys roundabout, like I've indicated, the intersection point between uh, the Nairobi Road and uh, Kisumu Kakamega Highway there. Uh, crowd, uh, crowd still gathering there.
and we're just monitoring the situation as to what is next for that crowd that is there. I can see there is an electricity pole being uh, used to block the, 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 the road there. I don't know if my, you can be able to see through that uh, zoom uh, in that there will not be any vehicle trying to move here. And uh, it's only the motorcycles actually uh, roaming around and uh, people actually mounting uh, sufuriers and dishes, of course, on their heads uh, to indicate uh, the dire economic situation in the country. Remember, one of the issues uh, being advocated for by the, as, or rather by the opposition is the high cost of living that they want the government to address uh, apart from uh, the electoral uh, justice that, that they are seeking. There are some of the issues that have resulted into these people taking to the streets actually uh, to push the government to act in line with the Azimio demands and of course we'll be monitoring every situation here. I can see still some uh, big smoke emanating from uh, the tires being lit right in that back, uh, uh, roundabout but so far there hasn't, been any, uh, there hasn't been any sort of chaotic experience here. It has been all peaceful although uh, the businesses of course are stand still. Very, very early in the morning uh, there were a few businesses opening especially uh, around uh, uh, Ogingo Dinga streets. That is where major shops are located. Yeah, but early in the morning, some of them had opened. But for now, uh, they have closed, of course, out of fear of being attacked. And uh, but we will be mo monitoring the situation progressively throughout the day. And of course, uh, we'll bring to you every live update.